guys, uh, Tony from Team Divine Pro come come at you guys again with another uh, for sale video. This time it's a pretty budget. It's pretty much a budget type of thing. So for all you uh, budget players out there, or those well, this is mainly directed towards the people that are just getting started in Cardfight Vanguard. Uh, and if this idea does go really well with Cardfight Vanguard, I might start going into like the Waste War stuff, like the Japanese stuff that I got. So, without further ado, I will be uh, budget selling off these two decks. So, if you can't tell, I got Kagero and Neonectar. Extreme budget Neonectar and Kagero. Ex somewhat extreme budget. So, uh, yeah, so the, this, the deck's probably going to come in like a penny sleeves, like a really, like, not really qual high quality sleeves, like, not like, a, like these ones here, but like. You still will get like actual sleeves and I think I'll get deck boxes for them as well, but like probably cheap ones. But anyways, the decks are probably like, uh, I think the Kagero one, uh, I'm probably going to go for like somewhere in like the realm of like maybe 30, 30 or like between like 20 and 30 for the, the whole thing with sleeves and a deck box. But, in, but that's not including shipping, which is probably going to be like really cheap considering the fact that it's like this. And then Neonectar is probably going to be like, well, the thing is, I have the two perfect guards and the two glass beads, and if you would want them, then that's really simple to, to add to it. But apart from that, then, like, everything else is, like, uh, pretty much just rares. But if you wanted the two glass beads and the two perfect guards, that would add up, and then you'd have to PM me. Like, yeah, guys, another thing to mention is that, like, anything can change. Like, you can change the deck ratios if you want me to, because it's really easy as long as it's not like anything really expensive, but like uh, that should be perfectly fine. So the Neo Nectar would probably be like in the realm of 25 to 20. So without, but that's without the glass beads and the perfect guards that I have. So I'll go with the Neo Nectar one really quickly since you guys have already seen a budget uh, starter. Um, what is it? Shield Seed Squire. Great threes, seven of them. Got three front layering Valkyrie, one behemoth. It's actually really good now. And two gene. Uh, grade twos. Play a bunch of them. I think you play 12. Four, seven, eight, 12. Yeah, 12. So you have four gene. I mean, four Irish Knight. Three gene. Three Samorg person. And two spirit tree, whatever guy. So spiritual sage. So yeah, you could instead of the, uh, I'd be swapping out one of the Samorg thingies and uh, one of the uh, Iris Knights for the extra glass beads, but that's all your preference. Four Corolla for grade ones. Uh, four Blade Seed. Four Caramel. Two of the uh, rest it and discard draw. This is the same. That's like a, that's what's going to be in for the perfect guards. If I were to have this switch up. Grade zeros apart from the starter. Four heal. Four crit. Four stand. And four draw. So yeah, pretty much rainbow triggers. So yeah, guys, uh, deck is going for like tw between like around uh, 20 to 25, I think pretty reasonable with sleeves and everything if not I just PM and everything we can work something out now for Kagero you have a uh, Dawn yeah. as your starter which would imply that you play the ride chain most likely unless if I was just really bad so you play four Goku one Dragonic Overlord the trial deck one uh, three Dragonic Executioner, that rounds up to like eight grade threes, which is really good for Goku. And then you play one of these for the ride chain just to get it off, but don't really need it in the deck because the deck space is kind of tight. Although if I had another one, I probably would put it in just for you. You have four Nehalem, one of them is a rare. Two Cross Shot Garps, one Berserk. Common. Three Tages. That's 11 grade twos. 
Moving on to grade ones. Grade ones are for Bar, for Gojo, to Ermo, for Daylight, and for grade for the trigger lineup. I well, it's all susceptible to change based on your guys' opinion, but. Considering the fact that there's no Baris, like perfect guards, I decided to change the lineup to something more defensive, just in case, because you do need more defense uh, for Genjo, because uh, Shadow Paladin, well, I found this Shadow Paladin deck, and it did quite well without perfect guards, and all you need is more 10k blockers, so you'll see in a minute. So you have uh, six crits, and uh, through my theory just now, in applying more pressure, I put in six stands and uh if you guys haven't know like heard uh the latest dragonic overlord the end deck that won uh the 2013 stand-up cup singles national thing in north america won with uh seven stands five draw so yeah stands are pretty good so this deck here will be going for somewhere in the realm of 20 to 30 and then neo nectar will be going for somewhere in the realm of 20 to 25 they will both come in with like a uh, penny sleeves and a deck box and keep in mind that uh, shipping will have to be, you will have to include shipping inside of that. Like you will have to pay for shipping. And, uh, but everything is susceptible to change including the prices because of cards. You can ch ask me to change the stuff. And besides from that guys, uh, there is still more to come because uh, I will have a Vocaloid deck that I will be having for sale. So stay tuned for that in way short. So if not, then uh, for you Cardfight Vanguard fans, uh, just stay tuned for more content because I believe I will have more content up soon seeing as summer is just around the corner. Anyway guys, I uh, hope you enjoy. Make sure to PM me if you wanna get anything and if not, see you next video. This is Tony from Team Divine Pro, signing off.